Hey, I'm Karen. Welcome to 45 Minutes of Boot Camp. This is a doozy. I really, really think you'll like this one. All right, it's a good combination of compound exercises, which simply means each exercise is going to do more than one thing. Okay, we're going to be working maybe lower body and upper body together, maybe core and upper body together, maybe cardio as well as legs. It's just going to be doing, making the most of our time today. So that's that's great. This is a Zoom class that I videoed. So when I am facing the camera saying left or right, either do what you see me doing or what you hear me saying, but either way, you'll be even in the end. You're just gonna need a mat and weights. Feel free to grab a couple different pair. For the most part, you're gonna be using a medium size weights. I've got tens, which I use for most of it. I've also got some fives. So I want you to shut out everything else and focus on you for this 45 minutes. Feel free to put on your playlist. What is going to make you just motivated? Maybe it's some rap music. Maybe it's some 80s. Maybe it's just whatever. Any type of music that is going to motivate you. Put it on, but turn your phone off besides that and just focus on you. Doing your best. Modifying when you need to. So we're all at a different fitness level. We all have different aches and pains. And that's okay because you showed up most importantly, and now just make it your own. I'm gonna show you modifications. Feel free to take a break when you need to. Drink lots of water. Here we go. All right, you guys, welcome to boot camp. Glad you joined me today. Make sure you've got some weights. Make sure you've got a mat and you dig down deep and find that energy because we're gonna have fun today. This is gonna be good. All right, so I actually want you to start at the back of the mat, please. And you're going to walk your hands down, walk yourself out. And with wrists below the shoulders, just lower your hips a little bit and glance up. Let's wake that back up. And then let's go ahead and lunge your right foot and reach your right arm. Good. And let's just walk ourselves back. Stand up, roll those shoulders. So let's just get those muscles and joints ready to work today. So wrists below the shoulders, just lower the hips a little bit, glance up, again, waking that back up. And then let's lunge the left foot, reach and stretch, take a breath, bring that foot back, and let's walk ourselves back. Shoulders back, let's do that one more time on each, okay? So walk it out, wrists below the shoulders, engage those abs, and you're just lowering the hips slightly, Glancing up and then right leg. We're gonna reach and twist. Glancing up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back. Shoulders back, take a breath. Do that one more time, please. Wrist below the shoulders, lower those hips, glance up, good. And left leg lunge. Reach it up and stretch. All right. Shoulders back. And we're going to move around the room, depending on how much room you have. And let's walk around a little bit, lifting those toes. All right. So warming up those hamstrings. I do want you to reach across, if you can, and touch that opposite toe. And again, you might have a bigger room and you're able to keep walking just that little bit. Good, so we know this is boot camp. We know there's gonna be some challenges in here. Remember that this is your workout. The beauty of you being at home doing this is that you can make this yours and not worry about what anybody else is thinking. But I know who's on and I know you guys are gonna challenge yourselves, but be careful and not get hurt. Good job, all right. Let's bring those legs out, reach up and across just a few times. So we've got a combination in boot camp where we're gonna do some things for time and we'll do some things for numbers, okay? One more time to each leg, please. Good. All right, so go ahead and grab weights for bent over rows. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a back lunge, bent over row. We're gonna be alternating legs. And we're gonna go for 30 seconds with a 15 second rest. We're gonna do that three times before we move on. So let's go ahead and go. Back lunge, do a bent over row and switch legs. Back lunge, make sure that that chest comes towards that thigh. Scoop the belly button in. I've got my palms facing me. 
or I'm sorry, facing inwards towards each other um, for the bent over rows. You're welcome to turn the weights so ends are together if you prefer. One more and good. All right, take a break. Right at first, you're not gonna feel like you need the breaks, but you will eventually. So go ahead and take them. We're gonna start and again in five. Abs are scooped in and here we go. Same thing, row, stand up in between. I want you to get that posture break so that your low back doesn't bother you, okay? Back row, uh, excuse me, back lunge, and row. Really engage that center. You got 15 more seconds here. Breathe, and row. So not only working those legs, but we're working the back as well. One more, good. Take your break, and we're gonna do that one more time before we move on. So we're gonna start in five, zip up through the middle, here we go. And row, stand up tall, good. Stand up tall, open that chest. 20 more seconds here, nice and strong. The good thing is, is that once we move on after these three times, you won't see this exercise again. All right, 10 more seconds. Good. And good. So put the weights at the end of your mat and you're gonna be jumping back into a burpee, doing a plank jack, stand up, and one arm's gonna press up, okay? So let's start in five. Here we go. So hands in the weights, jump yourself back, do a plank jack, jump forward, one weight comes up over the head. And next time, the next weight's gonna come up. So jack. And if you don't wanna hop, you can just walk those feet back. You could step one foot out, step forward, and one arm comes up. Good. Take a breath. This will be our last one. And breathe. Take your 15 second rest. Two more times doing that. All right, get water when you need to. And here we go. So, Jack, come on up, one weight up. The next one, the next time. Nothing like anything to do with burpees to get our heart rate up. Make sure we're warmed up, right? Woo, 15 more seconds. You got it. One more. And take your 15 second rest. Breathe. 10 more seconds, we're gonna do one more. 30 second round of those burpees. Ready, when, you're, when you are ready, let's go. <laughs> Jack, and press, good. Woo, so you can have your motivating music on here if you would like. Other than that, I want you to shut off the outside world and just focus on you, okay? You got this. One more. And good, okay. Take a breath. You're gonna need weights for tricep press. So think about weights for tricep press. Go ahead and grab those. So abs are scooped in, feet are hip width apart, palms up, pulse for three, two, one, weights on your shoulders, three, two, one, and triceps. Lift those hands up high, three, two, one, good job, palms up, scoop that belly button in, and squat, sitting back into those heels, Good, three, two, and one. 15 second rest. Same thing, two more times. You know, you can take more of a break when you need to. When you're ready, join me, here we go. Three, two, one. 
pulse. Now sit back into those heels and lift your toes up a little bit. Good. Three, two, one. 20 more seconds here. Woo! Nice job. Three, two, one. Woohoo! Legs and arms getting something here. Three, two, one. Three, two, good. Take a breath one more time. Okay, one more time through that. Hopefully that heart rate's already up some. Get ready, zip up through your middle. And here we go, three tricep pulses, weights on your shoulders, three, two, and awesome. Good compound movements today. Just means we're doing more than one thing at a time. Multitasking, it's what life's about, right? <laughs> Good, I'm so proud of you for getting here today. Not always easy to carve out this time. Good for you. Last time, three, two, and good. All right, take a 30 second break. And we have got a couple core exercises that we're doing. So come on down to the mat. And we are going to grab one weight. It can be a medium sized weight, it can be a smaller weight, it's up to you. And in 10 seconds, what you're gonna be doing is a bent knee roll up. Okay, so that's just lifting up and we're gonna do eight. Here we go. So roll it back, scoop in through the middle, that's one. Woo! Engage the middle, two. If you, coming all the way up is too much for your back and your abs, I'd like you to just do crunches. That's three, and not lift all the way up. Good, that's four. Woo! Good, five, breathe, and six. You just have two more. Seven, and eight. All right, go ahead and put the weight down. You're gonna come into a plank on your right side and we're gonna be alternating side hip dips. So what I want you to do here, Knee can be down on the ground on the bottom if you want to. Two hip dips. Stop here. Two plank saws. That's one. Left side now, switch sides. Two hip dips. Two plank saws. Knees can be on the mat whenever you need to. That's two. Right side, two hip dips. And two plank saws. Try to keep the hips at neutral. That's three. Woo, two hip dips. Plank saw, zip up through the middle. That's four. Oh yeah, nothing easy about these. Two plank saws. And that's five. Remember, same thing from those knees. If that back bothers you, you are listening to your body. Woo, that's six, just two more. One more time on each side. Can you muster up a smile somewhere? <laughs> That's your challenge. Last one. Two hip dips. Two plank saws. Woohoo! Good. All right, guys, we've got that roll up one more time. Grab that medium weight. Our knees are bent. And here we go. Engage your middle before you lift up. You do not have to rush through these. That's one. Woo! And two. Strong middle. That's three. Keep breathing. Woohoo! And four. Great job. That's five. Woo! That's six. Scoop in through the middle, that's seven. And we've got eight, all right. Yeah, we gotta do those side plank and switch again. Here we go, I'm gonna start on my right. Two hip dips, 
Two plank saws, please. Whew. That's one. You're switching sides. Two hip dips. Two plank saws. Zip up through the middle. That's two. We're having fun now, aren't we? Good. Plank saw. That's three. Woohoo! Two plank saws. That's four. Oh, yeah. Halfway through these. Woo! That's five. Good job. Oh, yeah. And six. Make sure the hips are down at neutral. Don't lift those hips too much when you're doing the plank saw. Woohoo! Last one, everybody. Yes. And awesome. Sit back into your heels for a second. Breathe. 30 second break before we get started with our next group of exercises. So we're going to do a skater and a curtsy lunge. And we're going to do that for 30 seconds three times. So go ahead and grab one medium weight. We're going to start in about 10 seconds. Woo! And here we go. So I want you to jump over and curtsy lunge. Jump over, curtsy lunge. That jump is optional. All right, 20 more seconds. All you're doing is holding that medium weight. And if a curtsy lunge does not feel good for your knees, I want you to do this with a back lunge instead of that curtsy, all right? and 15 second break so we're going to do that two more times breathe when you're ready go ahead and join me again hop and curtsy lunge we're not rushing through Woo! 20 more seconds Oh yeah, you're strong. We're getting that heart rate up, we're challenging muscles in the full body, legs, arms, and core. We'll all feel this today. Break, one more time, 30 seconds. Get water when you need to and Join me when you're ready. Good, hop and lunge. Hop and lunge, woo! Good job. Oh yeah, 15 more seconds. Yep, working hard. Having fun doing it. Good job, guys. Rest, no weight. We're gonna do 180 degree jump turns. If you don't wanna jump all the way around, you're more than welcome to ju just jump at a 90 degree, all right? So it's gonna look like this. Join me when you can. Squat and jump, or your options, 90 degree. Good. More options. You could step and squat. All right, you don't have to jump. You're listening to your body, right? Breathe. Three, two, and one. Rest. 15 second rest. You know we're gonna do it a couple more times. When you're ready, here we go. Squat, and you decide whether you're jumping or stepping. You decide whether you're doing 90 degrees or 180. Woo! Safely challenge yourself, how about that? Most importantly, 
make yourself proud, all right? Impress yourself today. Woo! And rest. One more time. Woo! When you're ready, here we go. Woo! And you can take turns jumping in whichever direction you want. Listen to those knees and hips. Woo! About 10 more seconds. You're gonna think about weight for a deadlift next, okay? And good. Deadlift, we're also gonna be doing bent over row and press up over the head. So go ahead and grab weight. You know we got three times to do this, so you can always grab smaller weights if you need to. So here we go. So bring it down to a deadlift, bent over row, stand up, hammer curl, press, all right? Deadlift. Bent over row, stand up, hammer curl, press. Yes. So deadlift, bent over row, 10 more seconds, and press. Woo! So if you've had shoulder issues, I find pressing overhead with my palms, go ahead and rest. With my palms facing each other, it's a little bit more uh, easier, not easier, but better on the shoulder joint, okay? So you're welcome to face them forward if you want. All right, second time, here we go. Feet are hip width apart. Engage the abdominals, bent over row, stand up, hammer curl, press. Good. Bent over row, in that deadlift, stand up, hammer curl, press. Yeah, we're working a lot of muscles here. Scoop that belly button in, woo! Stand up, hammer curl, press. Let's have time, I think, for one more. Shh. Press, rest. Good job, you guys. So we're gonna go down for some more core after this one. Ready, set, last time. Deadlift, bent over row, hammer curl, and press. Woo! Shh. Yes! Hammer curl, press. 20 more seconds. Strong. Woo! Shh. Yes, about 12 more seconds. Shh. Let's have time for part of this one. Shh. You're good. All right, come on down to the mat. You got 30 seconds. Grab water if you need to. No weight at first. We are going to be doing, no wait for it, either one of these exercises. So we're gonna be doing in an upper plank, palms to elbows. You're gonna be on your knees or your toes, it's up to you, we're also gonna lunge. So, let's go ahead and come to your upper push-up position. Zip up through the middle. All right, right arm comes down to your elbows and up. Lunge with your right leg and twist. That's one. So let's do the left, left lunge, that's two. I'm gonna demonstrate from my knees. Right, lunge, that's three. Left, lunge, that's four. So you decide whether knees are on the mat or not. Right lead. Lunge, good, that's five. Left, so you can even do a combination of sometimes knees down and sometimes not, that's six. Woo, lunge, that's seven. Left, and eight. Awesome. All right, you guys, have a seat. Yeah, your heart rate should still be up. <laughs> All right, you're back on those palms. 
Anytime you need to put one or both feet down, please do that. Do not hurt your back. So zip up through the middle. So I want you to do little crosses. Come up and down. That's one. Two, zip up through that middle. Three. Four. Woo! Small little crosses. Five. Six. Breathe, engage that middle smile. Seven. Woohoo! And eight. Take a second to reach for your ankles or feet. We got one more time on each. All right, so come up to that upper push up position. And right palms to elbows, right lunge. Hold and twist. Good. Left palms to elbows, left lunge, and twist. That's two. Woo! Right. Lunge and twist. That's three. Good. Left lunge. Woohoo. Four. Oh, yeah. Right. Lunge. Five. Find that smile. Woo. Six. Good job, guys. One more time on each side. Woo! Seven. And eight. Awesome. All right. We've got those seated little scissor kicks. Crossing those legs. Taking turns with which one is in front before you get started. Zip up through the middle. And here we go. One. Two, so if my back starts to hurt, I can just move one leg. Three, and then the other. Four. Woo, zip up strong. Five. Six. Woohoo! Seven and eight. Awesome, guys. Get some water. A few seconds off. We are going to start with two plank rows, a push up, and that's with a burpee. I know, not easy. Do the best you can. Let's start in five. We're going to go for 30 seconds. So plank row on each arm, knees down or up. Do a push up. That's one. Good. You only have 20 more seconds. So you decide, look, my knees can be on the mat the whole time I'm rowing and doing my push up. 10 more seconds. Woo! Rest. Get two more times to do that for 30 seconds. Great job, everybody. Get ready. Whenever you are, let's go for it. So, row, row, push up, either jump or step to come up. Woo! If the push-up's too much, just do the rows. Good. About 10 more seconds. Woo! Rest. One more time. Yeah, this is challenging. Our heart rate's going up. We're burning those calories. We're creating endorphins. Let's do it. Woo! Last time with these. Oh yeah. Fifteen seconds. Woo! Engage. 
engaging the middle the whole time. Really think about form. And rest. You're gonna need one medium weight. So these are gonna be frog squats with a jump. The weight is gonna stay down. The only way that the weight comes closer to the mat is because your knees and hips. Here we go. So we're gonna come down, hop. So I'm bending my knees and hips. I'm not doing this to bring it down. So your head and chest stay up. Squat down. Squat. Good, toes out. Scoop in your middle. Yes. Stick with it. One more. Rest. We got two more times like that. Woo! Get ready. Toes out. And here we go. Bend knees and hips. Head and chest stay up. Good. If you need to put the weight down, you can. You're working at your pace. Yes. When we have 15 more seconds left, or 15 more minutes left in this workout, yeah, you should be tired. You should be feeling this. You're doing your best. Dig down deep, challenge yourself. One more. So, rest. This is where if we're working out on our own, we go, okay, had enough. Let's try to push through together. Let's try our best. Last time doing this. Here we go, zip up through the middle. Woo! Yes, 10 more, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was rushing it. 20 more seconds. Woohoo! Yes! Almost! One more. Good. Biceps. Think about weights you're going to use for biceps. We're going to lift our knees to work on balance as well. You got this, guys. Ready? Here we go. So my palms start facing me, and then I bring the palms up as I lift up. And I'm alternating which leg comes up. Now, I am slowly coming up and slowly coming down. Okay, that's your concentric contraction as well as the eccentric contraction. I'm not just letting my weights drop, all right? Challenging my balance as well. It's always good. One more. Rest. You got to do that two more times, or I'm suggesting you do it two more times. It's up to you. All right, guys, standing up tall. When you're ready, let's go. Woo! Yes. Rotating the wrist, bringing it slowly up and slowly down. Yep, we feel that work. 15 more seconds. Woo! Yes. You can do this. One more. Rest. Last 30 seconds of this. Coming up. And then we've got some more core that we love so much. When you're ready, let's go. Come on. Last round of this. Woo! You are strong. 20 seconds. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Give your body the oxygen it needs. 10 more seconds. Woo! Yes! One more. All right, we got a 30 second break before we come down to the mat for abs. So no weight needed. We're gonna start with a bicycle. It's gonna be one, two, three, and hold. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Zip up through that middle, eight of these. So one, two, 
three and hold. One, two, three, that's two. Lift the rib cage up and don't pull on that head and neck. Four, five, lift that rib cage up. Woo! Six, seven, woohoo! Eight. Oh, that was eight. Haha, <laughs> made you do an extra one. That's all right. Okay, lower ab lift. So we're going to lift the hips just as high as you want to. Bend the knees, barely tap the toes. Any part of this that you need to take out, you can, and you are not lifting up any higher than you choose. Okay? Slow and controlled. That's three. Woo! Lift those hips, abs engaged. That's four. Good. That's five. Woo! Six, just two more. Seven. And eight. Go right into that bicycle if you can. One, two, three. Hold. That's one. Woo! Two. Lift that rib cage up. Three. Yes, your abs should feel something, definitely. Four. Woohoo! Five. Oh, yeah. Six, seven, and eight. Lower abs. Take a break when you need to. Lift up. Barely tap the toes. That's one. If you don't want to tap, you don't have to. I am simply giving you suggestions. Three. Slow and controlled is best. Four. You got four more. Woo! That's five. That's six. That's seven. You got one more. And eight. Good job, you guys. You're going to need one medium weight. Last group exercises. Now, I'm going to suggest these things where we start on the mat and you're gonna come up and down onto your knees. If that is too much for your knees, what you're going to do is you're gonna be lunging here, all right? And then you would switch every once in a while, all right? That is your option. So let's come down to those knees. Let's use our right leg, come up and down, right leg. Woo, good. Up, right leg, 20 more seconds. Do the best that you can. I know I didn't, I, I did not save the easiest for last, for sure. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Good. Five more seconds. Rest. Now keep the weight. You're going to do around the world to your right. All right. Abs are scooped in. Knees just slightly bent, come around to the right. The weight comes above the head, it does not go behind you. And notice my elbows are just slightly bent. Good guys, strong. So we have definitely worked the core today. Yes, arms and legs too. But you should feel this one. Yes, the arms are lifting up, but it's circling around your core. Pull the belly button away from the front of your shirt. Woo! Awesome. Come on down to your knees. We're going to start with our left leg this time. All right. Almost done, guys. Almost done. We've got left side on both of these, and then we stretch. Here we go. Left leg leads. So I stand it up and bring it down. Good. Stand it up. Woo! And down. Oh, my goodness. I missed the mat. <laughs> Don't miss the mat. I've got a cushiony mat. If you need to roll your mat up to have more cushion, you can do that. And we always have one side that's harder, guys. Oh yeah. Oh my. And stand up. All right, rest. You have around the world to your left. And then we stretch. 
Woohoo! All right, knees bent, scoop that belly button in. Here we go. Around to your left. The weight comes up over the head. Good job. Belly button pulled away from the front of your shirt. Scoop it in. Come on, 15 seconds. Dig down deep. Find that energy. 10 more seconds. Woo! One more. Oh my. Yes. Awesome job, guys. High five. Hand between your shoulder blades. Gently press down. Walk your fingertips to the opposite shoulder. Keep the legs moving if you want. So proud of you guys. Switch, other hand between shoulder blades. Press down, but walk those fingertips to the opposite shoulder. Woo! Let's find a spot we're staring at for balance. Okay, let's bring that right hand into our, um, right foot into our hand. Pull the heel to the back side and push this hip bone forward. Good, and now right leg, that same one, flexes. Sit back, lower the chest and pull the hips back. All right, find that spot you're staring at for balance, the other leg. Okay, eyes on that one spot, the foot comes into your hand. Press the knee down, pull the heel to the back side, press this hip bone forward. Woo, yes. Flex that left foot, sit yourself back and stretch. Good. Shoulders relax. Take one arm across. Open it up and switch. Good. All right, I want you to come onto your hands and knees, please. Let's bring that right leg to a lunge. Hands on the inside. Pull those hips forward. Make sure your right knee is right above the ankle. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Now listen, take your left arm, reach it up. Scoop under, reach up again. And down. Right foot in the center, shift back, lower the chest towards the leg for a hamstring stretch. Good, on your right knee, and then stretch your right calf. So let's push that heel back, press the heel towards the mat. Good. Nice cat-cow stretch. All right, left leg lunge, hands on the inside, pull those hips forward, knees right above the ankle, right quadricep sinking down. Take a deep breath in and out. Right arm up, reach and scoop. And right arm up one more time. Now, left foot in the middle. Shift your weight back. Lower the, the chest to stretch that hamstring. Come on to your left knee. Stretch that left calf. Push those heel that left heel back. One more cat-cow stretch. Glance up. Knees apart, big toes together, sit back and just rest in child's pose. Let the middle of your chest surrender to the mat. Back up onto your hands and knees. I'm gonna have you fold forward briefly. If bringing your head down makes you feel dizzy, just stand up and meet. I'll meet you there in a second. Tuck the toes under, walk the feet and hands towards each other. And let's hold on to your calves, either the same calf or opposite. Now straighten the legs the best that you can, nose towards your knees. Good, abs are engaged, roll it up slowly. Now listen, your right leg, I want you to bring one weight near you. You're just gonna use it for some support, okay? Your right leg is gonna cross, and so the toes are near each other. I want you to walk your fingertips down your legs, never just hang the hands, walk the fingertips down. So this is where you could use that weight if you need to, if you can't come down to the ground. Chin in the chest, take a breath. So listen, my right leg is crossed in front, wind around to your right. Left hand holds the back of the ankle, nose towards the knees. 
Now untwist, engage your abdominals, roll up. So good for our IT bands, switch. Left leg crosses, toes are about even. Walk your hands down, put your hands on the weight or your legs or the ground, chin in the chest, breathe and release tension. Left leg is crossed in front, wind yourself left, right hand holds the ankle, just an option, nose towards the knee. Good, untwist, roll up slowly. Shoulders back, fingertips point down, gently pull back. Breathe and switch. Awesome job, deep breath, exhale, give yourself that hug, acknowledge the effort that you gave for yourself today. High five, good job.